Hey guys, how's it going? Lone Wolf Lock picking here. I uh, wanted to jump on and see if I couldn't uh, crack this challenge lock I got here. It was sent in by Don Ellis. Made on a uh, Yale style lock. Yale Keyway. Um, he did send the key with it in a little envelope, but I can't seem to locate it. I think I might have left it at home. And I'll shoot my videos when I'm here at work. But we don't need a key. Um... Use forty thousands pry bar from Sparrows, and uh, starting a new uh, technique, I suppose you would call it, um, to start because I never used rakes on. I don't use rakes normally, period. But I never uh, used rakes on challenge locks. But uh, I think I'm going to start and uh, see if maybe you can't get a false set or anything going before beforehand. Oh. Got some movement on the core. Ooh, whoops, sorry. Forgot to zoom in. There we go. I got that mark on there so you can kind of watch the rotation of the core. Okay, I think that's going to be it with the rake. Turn it on. A little bit. Move this guy. There we go. And then the uh, I'm going to use a number four hook from Peterson in fifteen thousands. I need to figure something out about this lighting here. It's not very, not very good. Click on two. So nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five. Next, click on six. Another click on six, I think. Nothing on one, nothing on two. Nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five. Can't feel nothing on six. I'm gonna try to uh, let's see if this will fit. Get something to keep me from falling down off that ledge. Nothing on one. This one might be a little too thick. <clears throat> Try this one. Okay, nothing on one. Nothing on two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. Some counter rotation on five. Oh, and we got an open. Five was the magic number. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this guy gutted. Gutted, I think that would be the correct term. Gutted. Let's gut this guy. We'll just say that. Okay. Clip remover. <clears throat> don't want to lock it because we don't have the key. All right. Let's get a shim in here. Grab a follower, and we're in. Okay. Looks like a stock core, no modifications to the core. 
everything had to be picked. Nothing special about the core. Got some drill protection there. So let's dump this guy out. One, two, three, four, five, and six. See if we can't get a good angle here. All stock key pins. So nothing too hard there. A uh I guess you would call this a serrated, with some big deep serrations. Steel spring. A spool. A copper spring. A standard. Real nice long steel spring like the first one. Another one of those. They remind me of the serrated ones. Serrated pins out of uh, the GG locks. I guess Yao has them as well though. And number six is another serrated. And uh, brass spring, number five, another spool, one of those uh, long steel springs. Looks like these are all, come on, focus, there we go. All the chambers up in the Bible are uh, threaded. So that's the only modifications we got is these, the threaded Bible, which would have called for the tape. So let's do a summary on <clears throat> what we got here. All standard key pins, one through six. And then for the drivers, we got serrated, spool and two, standard and three, uh, serrated and four, spool and five, serrated and six. And then uh, steel, brass, steel, brass, steel, brass on the springs. Nothing on the core, some drill protection, and then a threaded Bible. That's all I got for you on this challenge log from Don Ellis. Not sure if he has a YouTube channel yet or not, but if he does, I will link it in the description. And um, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'll make another video if I remember it to let you guys know. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.